It didn't take much more than a bottle and two chairs to make a speakeasy. This is what Daniel Okrent said in his book, Last Call, The Rise and Fall of Prohibition. Today, join us for some stories. Get your own bottle, glass, mug, and relax. This is Speak Easily, and I'm your host, Krista Stoffer. Let's try it again. Let's do a take two. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Speak Easily Columbus. I am your host, Ben Needenthal. This is your other host, Chris Stoffer. Uh, and this is our new format. It's a, it's a little different. It's a little different looking. But, uh, you know, we've got, it is. It's for the most thing. part, everything we need. And it's going to evolve a little bit uh, over the next several months. We've got some big things happening. We do. Uh, but uh, that's pretty much it that I have for an actual proper intro. Good. I'm not doing one. Good. All right. Fine. Well, I don't like doing them. Every time I've done them, it just doesn't doesn't sit. Yeah. Hi. Well- <laughs> that was a great response, yeah. too. Yes. Yeah. I affirmative. <laughs> well, that's our show for today. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks. Appreciate it. Yeah. You Thanks for having podcasting. me. Thanks for having me here. Yeah, I do a lot. Do you do like doing them? Um, I did it first. Like, no. Um, I did it first. Well, you run into the situations where, you know, Expect, like when COVID happened, there was a huge spike and everyone yeah. has a microphone yeah. and a computer <laughs> at home. And so everybody yeah. does a podcast right. now. And I ran, I, what you run into a lot is you'll get asked to do something and it's kind of them just wanting to hear themselves talk. And yeah. it well, ends up being kind of like totally a waste of time. Here. They just, well, yeah, I mean, it's different because like you guys are actually like kind of cool. So I was oh, like, kinda. okay, we can, we can have Sweet. some, we can have some conversations. Kinda. Kinda. You know what? Cool. Oh, we're getting compliments on our show. <laughs> I think we're off to a great start, honestly. It's going, it's going you know, well. It's going really well. Hey, everybody, Ryan's here. Yeah. Ryan. He's, you guys he's, he's slumming it with us today. <laughs> this, is, this is definitely a slum. This is a supposed day off. You have the day off, right? Yeah, I have the day off. I slept in today. What was that like? Um, it wasn't great because I ended up, I ended up, um, staying up until about five thirty in the morning. Doing what? Uh, well, Playing I was, games, right? no, I was watching Air Force One with Harrison Ford. Get off of my plane. Yes! yes. Yes. I forgot how good that movie yes. was. And I had a bottle of wine and maybe a few beers and I just kept, <laughs> and I'm like, this is a great movie. I forgot five? How good it was. Yeah. It was f- about, uh, so I went to bed at five thirty. you started at like three? Yeah. I started about Man. three. You got to commit to that movie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was I, I was so amped when it started. Like yeah. it's that movie starts off with action. Like boom. You're, yeah, Gary seen. Oldman is the bad guy too, right? Yeah. Yeah. He's great. I like yeah. him. So good. He's yeah, still he's... alive, right? Yes. Sorry, we've just lost so many people. Yeah. No. <laughs> so much death. <laughs> that's, that's true. He's safe, right? That's Gary, true. check in, please. You're good, right? <laughs> I do like him. I have yes. a bad tendency of talking about actors that I don't like. Yeah. So I'm not, I, it's really bad. <laughs> Comes up. Heather, Heather Graham is probably not going to be on our show. <laughs> Heather, I think you're great if you're listening. I'm sure she's a lovely person. I, I told you. <laughs> I, for, for Christmas this year, I went and I looked up on uh, Cameo <laughs> to see if I could get oh, Heather Graham. To be like, I'm never brilliant. coming on your show, Krista. But she's not on Cameo, which is a she's shame. She's not a B list. Yeah. yeah. You see, no, she's, I don't want to offend anybody on Cameo because yeah. I think it's a really cool thing yeah, that yeah. they do. Yeah. Maybe we should do one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we would make tons of money on that. Because one. basically, like they can say anything you want them to, right? Yeah, they yeah. have the they can they can turn it down, or they can you know ask for clarification. But yeah, you okay. can give them a whole message, and yeah. they'll say. Wouldn't it be funny if somebody used that as like a breakup? Oh, it's been done. <laughs> have you have you seen, have you seen the ones where like uh, uh, I, the one that comes to mind is Bam Margera? Yeah. Oh yeah. He uh, was hired to uh, talk to this guy's boss to quit his job. Like, oh man! Like oh, my gosh. and. Bam Margeri like cussed out this guy's boss and said like deuces I'm out like done. And wow, it was super vulgar, hilarious. But wow. yeah, I, it, it it depends on the it depends on the celebrity like yeah. what they will and will not do. Yeah. Have you ever quit a job? Have I quit a job? Yeah. No. I've really? Never, like I've never really like. I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah a big mean, big lots yes. in high school. I had to put in my two what? weeks notice. Yeah, you I, left big lots. Yeah, I left big <laughs> lots. I left. I was I was I was in furniture when I was like fifteen. And wow. So furniture had You're some great stories from too big, big for big lots <laughs> yeah had to you know i was a senior in high school i was like i'm on to bigger and better things i'm going to college guys like Aww. were they sad 
Uh, yeah, I remember the the manager of the furniture department's name's Michael. He was probably like forty five years old. He's only ever worked in the furniture department at Big Lots. And wow. He this man would carry like king size mattresses on his back and wow. he would pull them from this giant pallet in the top and he was always complaining about back problems naturally I mean, uh yeah. <laughs> he's having so many problems yeah. but then here i was like <laughs> i i could barely lift a twin mattress like was that your first job big lots was my first like wow. actual job where mm-hmm. i had okay. got paid with a, a check they paid me with a i i actually found a pay stub from really? Big Lots the other day. Yeah. How wow. much did you make? Do you remember? It wasn't a lot. No. Uh, I think the the paycheck, the pay stub that I found, it was for like one hundred and fifty dollars for a weekend's worth of work. Wow. So it was probably That's like seven or eight bucks an hour kind of thing. I think mine was four fifty. Okay. When I started. Okay. At the Concourse Athletic now, Club. Oh. So circa what years? Oh, this was this was yeah two thousand uh, two thousand three four. Okay. okay. All right. Mine was ninety. I started when I was 14, so 95? Yeah. yeah. Mine was, yeah. But my first was 95, I think. Is was the I movie was. theater your first? Movie, yeah. Oh, nice. Cinemark movie 16. Oh, yeah. nice. Were you were you the yeah. uh, uh, the guy uh, taking I tickets? I was all the things. All of the, the things. Yes, except for a projectionist. They never, they had a, a one projectionist guy who was pretty, I don't know, standoffish about anybody else coming into his space. He yeah. wanted to do the thing. Thing, which, okay, fine, whatever. I mean, you know, even then, but like, just put the thing on. But honestly, like, if you think that there is a worst job at the movie theater, you are incorrect. They're all terrible. They're oh, they're all, all bad. They're all like, whether you're tearing tickets and telling people go down here and turn left, or you're cleaning up popcorn or vomit in the in the lobby or yeah. the bathrooms or whatever it is. Every single bit of it is horrible. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Grossest things I've ever cleaned up have been at the movie theater. Yeah, you probably didn't get that at Big Lots, though. I didn't get it at Big Lots, but um, I did pick up a movie theater job as a second job a couple years ago. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, like, this whole second job thing, you know, you've got, right. I've got my career. Yeah. And, you know, wanted to make some extra money for Christmas. So I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, I'm going to pick something up on the weekends. What's something easy and mindless that I could do as, like, a guy in my mid-30s that I can just go yeah. and do and AMC movie theaters? Like, yeah. oh, I can go okay. see free movies. Let's do this. Yeah. Yeah. So I got hired in, and I remember my first day was the Frozen 2, oh, man. like, debut. And I'm at concessions, uh. and they were – the whole thing was, oh, we're going to ask our staff to sell these Frozen 2 – you know, the plastic mm-hmm. cups. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The plastic yeah. cups. Yeah. yeah. I sold 15 on day one, and all these kids that worked with me, I'm like, you know, I'm <laughs> triple the age of everybody, and I'm selling these cups, like literally looking at the kids in the eye going, your mom would love to buy you this cup. <laughs> and I put them in situations where they did. It. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I you look, sold. You don't have to buy this right now, but if you come back later, it's not going to be here. Yeah. yeah. I'm just saying. You yeah. Know, like, yeah. Exactly. Hard sell. Yeah. But yeah, it's same thing. Like, there wasn't a great place to be no. behind the register no. was terrible because you had people yelling at you yep. for things that <laughs> and you learn no. about the food at the movie theaters and how, how long are those hot dogs on those rollers? Oh man. <laughs> In my you... experience from the nineties, uh, oh, at least a year and I'm not <laughs> exaggerating. Kid, I am not. There is at least a several hot dogs and there are probably people from our class that could corroborate this <laughs> are story. Are they still alive? That, that well, we didn't sell very many hot dogs, and like it got yeah. to the point where like people would come in like, "Oh, I'd like a hot dog," and you'd kind of go, mm, "I don't think so. <laughs> I really no. don't want this." And, but like they would take the hot dogs though. off of the the carousel <laughs> every no, not carousel is it carousel or it's the like the, the wheelie the, the wheel yeah uh, oh man I don't know what it's called they didn't have one of those the, ro- the, the rotisserie, rotisserie yeah the, the, the yeah. Ferris wheel the hot dog Ferris yeah. wheel um, they would <laughs> take it off so of it they would take it off of the ride. Um, and then they'd stick it in a big tub of, of hot dog water, oh. and they'd put it in the fridge. <laughs> and it would sit overnight, and then the next morning they'd bring it out and put those suckers right back on. Oh, oh that makes Sorry. Me feel so hard. Like, this, this, is, this is 20 years That's out awful. of date. It may not be the way they do, they do things now. I hope. Then again, it is hot dogs, and it is a movie theater. And <laughs> look, it, if you're buying hot dogs in a movie theater, you should be rethinking things strange. anyway. Baseball yeah. game, I get. Yeah. 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 Well, baseball game, it's it's volume, right? Like, I mean, they yeah. dime a dog night, they, they, yeah. they just blow through hot dogs, right? But, like, a movie theater, like... <laughs> you're you're <laughs> in the dark. Right. You've got, you've got know, like, condiments on your yeah. hot dog. And I, I don't know, for me, it would be 
everything would everything. fall on my lap yeah. and I'd have stains you, on my shirt. Yeah, like it's a snacky type experience, <laughs> not like a sit there and chat <laughs> no, on a right, dog. Right. You know, like <laughs> we're watching ti- we're watching Titanic and you're like you're eating this hot dog. <laughs> Tears ring down your face. Well, it's like the, the jalapenos for the nachos. Those right. things frighten me. They come from a can, I think. Oh, oh for sure. Yeah. 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 And how real. long have they been there? Yeah. Long time. Long time. <laughs> Guaranteed. Yep. We eat at the movies. I, I See, I'm, I, I don't want to eat anything. Now. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> right, right. Right. I like. I am. I my. I don't even want a beverage or anything. Oh. Like I. I am straight up. Like you're there for the movie. I'm there for the movie. Because if you get a beverage, you're gonna have to get up and pee at some point, and yeah. I'm not really looking to get up in the middle sure. of the movie. Yeah. You but know, I can't pause it. In your experience, though, people peed in the popcorn. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> They sure did, Krista. They sure did. Yes. Uh, not just Pete. Yeah. They would use uh, that wow. for all of the things, uh, including feminine products, um, <gasps> used prophylactics. Um, oh, my yeah, gosh. Yeah. I, you know what? I, I mean, if you're talking, you're talking about peeing in the in the, in the popcorn. I'm just thinking, well, that covers you know your salt and you know maybe the, <laughs> the buttery. You know, it has Extra the appeal of butter. Well, it was yeah. mostly that was the, the the receptacle for the thing that they would just leave behind in the theater for, oh, for oh, the cleaning oh, crew. No, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. oh yeah. that's yeah, that's awful. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's awful. Ugh. So yeah. <laughs> At least... to this day, I clean up after myself in movie theaters, and so no, should you. I think yeah, I, yeah. Think that's a good point. <laughs> I hate leaving. Yeah. Because then, we, like, my eldest and I went to go see Megan, M3 game. <gasps> How was that? <laughs> they may not come on our podcast either. Um, It was okay. I We're not going to have M3 game? <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Hi, I'm Megan. I'm a creepy dog. <laughs> um, basically, what you see in the previews is the movie. Oh, okay. I mean, that's kind of what I'm, I'd yeah. expect. It's like yeah. a child's play, but now it's... It's a girl. Yeah. Yeah. It, that was, that's it, basically. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm into that. It was not It was not bad, by yeah. any means. And I'm not a horror fan by any stretch of the imagination. It's not my thing. It was okay. Okay. It was a, it was a now, movie. Is your, your kiddo a, a horror fan? Oh, yeah. Yeah. They love anything creepy, scary. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. Not my yeah. child. But... Yeah. No. No. But it was... Okay, that's yeah. promising. I, like that is actually yeah. the review I'd be wanting to hear. Right. Yeah. If you see the trailer, you see the movie. But okay. Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm I mean, good. You with can that. save your money. <laughs> I don't. I don't like to. I don't go to movies very often. I don't see much of anything. I'm kind of a weird movie person, which is weird being an actor. You would think I would watch a lot. Of I sure. I don't. But to go see the theater, it's like it's got to be something I really want to go see. Yeah. Just because everything's streaming now. Yeah. You know? mm. Oh, for so, sure. Or will be in two weeks. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. But. Yeah, M. Thregan. Like, it, it was intriguing <laughs> to me. But M. Thregan, you're intriguing. <laughs> M. Thregan. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know. It didn't look like it was going to be, like, one of those groundbreaking, revolutionary. Yeah. Probably not M. Thregan on the Oscars. <laughs> <laughs> no. Hello, everybody. I'd like to thank the Academy. <laughs> right. yeah. um, but you are a horror film fan. Yeah. Yeah, I am. I am. Yeah, I, I, do, I do enjoy a good horror film. What is it appealing about them? I, well, I think it's anymore. I think it's just originality. Because I think in the horror genre, I think you lose a lot of originality yeah. with pretty much anything that comes out in the genre. So right. if you see something that's interesting. What's your favorite? Yeah. Uh, there's this new one that just came out. And Freegan? Not a Freegan. Not a Freegan. Uh, anticipating this. Um, it's on a, it's on Shutter. It's called Skin of a Rink. I have heard this. I've heard of this. Yeah. And then I get the elephant song in my head every yeah. damn time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. okay. um, I, love yeah. I love your singing. Yeah. Uh, Sharon Lois and Bram. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Did yeah, you watch that show? I did. And I actually went down a Sharon Lois and Bram rabbit hole last week, which is weird that oh, that's we're talking about. Yeah, okay. it is very bizarre. Is it because of the movie, though? Does it, it wasn't. That came before. The, the, really? the rabbit hole came before I heard about Skin of a Rink, which I feel uh. like I'm just in this weird uh. glitch, because why <laughs> did they make this movie and I just randomly <laughs> went off on this weird wow. elephant show thing? But yeah. Lois has passed away. Oh. And Sharon and Bram did a final tour where they did. They, they're in Canada. The show was all filmed oh, okay. in Canada. Yeah. And so they did a little tour in Canada with mm-hmm. just the two of them. And... I went down to YouTube and they had some Aww. videos and they were like at this little folk 
festival. There were like so a couple cute. hundred people there, and they were singing, <laughs> you know, like oh, row, row, be row your boat. Old <laughs> yeah. Now, yeah, yeah, they're in their, they're, uh, yeah, they're in their, they're in their eighties. Because they weren't young when the show was. Yeah, I was no. gonna say they were no. graying at that time. Yeah, yeah I would yeah. say. But who is the other? Um, Lamb Shop. What was her name? Sherry oh, Lewis. Sherry Lewis. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Sherry She's Lewis. Passed that too. Yeah. Oh, that was yeah. I think See, that was to me, a while ago. Uh, Today's special was. Was one that of my the favorites. one in the mall? Was, was the one in the mall with the mannequins that came oh, to life? And yes. Muffy the mouse and. What a terrible name. <laughs> <laughs> Muffy, Muffy, Muffy the mouse. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I didn't think about that. When I was a child <laughs> I'm here to destroy things. <laughs> what was? Wasn't there another one? Was there a guy on there? He was like a big, hairy, big mustache, or was that a different show? Maybe. Are you thinking of HR Puffin stuff? No, that was the Sid, Sid Croft. Uh, <laughs> that was creepy. Yeah. The kid from Oliver was in that. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. I did not know that. You grew up in musical theater. Yeah. And you did children's theater, didn't you? I did. I, I was on a. I sang a theme song for a, a Christian uh, TV show called Sunshine Crossing, but not an S U N S O N. Yes, yeah, Sunshine oh. Crossing. What was the song? Come on down to Sunshine Crossing. Do it in the name of Christ. Come on down to Sunshine Crossing. Learn about the love of Christ here. At, I know. The, I know the whole thing. And it's kind of long, but yeah, I, I still know that it for some weird be a reason. Track on your <laughs> And it should be a hidden track, like one of those, like Green Day did. Like, that's it's, like, hilarious. Twenty minutes after your that's last one. That's hilarious. Line, yeah, and totally. It's just you with a ukulele. A little ukulele. Yeah. <laughs> I think you did. It's on the you, internet somewhere. How'd you get hooked up with that? Um, I happen. Like, I grew up in Heath, Ohio. Yeah. So Granville is kind of right mm-hmm. there, and there is a semi-famous, like Christian contemporary artist named Wendy James. Okay. She opened for like. She would be an opener for big wigs that would like come through town in the Christian contemporary yeah. pop. Your Amy realm. Grant, like or the your... casting crowd. <laughs> right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And she would she would be the opener. She was a singer, and she had a little re- recording studio in Granville. And mm-hmm. we went to the same church. And okay. she's like, "Oh, Ryan, like you've got the voice that I need." You know, I'm like seven, and I'm like, Aww. "Yeah, that's a big deal." <laughs> that's cool. Oh, sweet. Yeah, it was super awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was a you know for a seven or eight year old like. Cool That's experience. Awesome. You were born in Heath, but then you did children's theater here in town. You guys drove out that far, or were you here by then? I I was doing. I was I, I wasn't in Columbus at that point. I was mm. I, I oh. did I did all my theater work in in Heath and Newark. I okay. uh, did a lot out there. I, my fr- did you do stuff out there? Never went to Weathervane. That okay. was a, actually a really interesting story. Obviously, I grew up in a super conservative Christian mm-hmm. household, and mm-hmm. I was in a my very first like play mm-hmm. was Lost in Yonkers. Okay. And there were some scouts from Weathervane that were trying to, yeah, they were like, they're looking for, they were trying to get a younger like actor for Mm -hmm. a bigger production that they were having. Mm. And it was, uh, what is it? Uh, Guildenstern, uh, Uh, Rosencrantz and Guildenstern. It was, it was that Mm -hmm. show. And they literally came to my house one night and they wanted, (laughs) uninvited, totally just showed up and these directors wanted me to play um, like a cross-dressing kid or something okay. like that. I don't, I don't know. I'm totally mm. unfamiliar with it, but yeah. I've never seen my like my dad and mom were like so like offended. Like, how dare you like ask our son to do this? And oh wow! I, I was like, I thought it was super evil and like yeah. terrible. I'm like, oh, they're bad people. They're bad people. <laughs> and then you know, obviously, like realizing like, wow, my, I can't believe they held me back from this cool opportunity. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay, but, uh, 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 that's so, a little. That's a lot though to show up at a child's house oh twice it happened oh my god it happened multiple times yeah <laughs> i mean i felt super important like they want me it happened to everybody it was that happened to me and you and you know <laughs> would you please attack. cross-dress for our play it was a common thing that we got, you know <laughs> Oh, back again. Right. <laughs> guys, right. I told you. Come on. Come on. Right. Right. It's, it's, I'm not getting paid enough for this. <laughs> Talk to my agent. It's my in parents. my rider. No. <laughs> Thank you. That's insane. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. That's it, not good. What a weird thing, though. Yeah. yeah. Super strange. So that's your yeah. start in the show business. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was my <laughs> lack thereof. That, that connects a couple of thoughts, <laughs> <does>. actually. Right. <laughs> Well, I mean, because you would have I, my involvement with all those like Easter plays, you know, every church oh, does yeah. their Easter yeah. plays. So it's super awkward for like this kid and like this adult production. You know, I was the boy yeah. with the bread, you know, I brought yeah. the bread to Jesus. And then I joined the chorus and we would sing more songs and you'd have to run. I just remember feeling so awkward. 
oh, you have to run out into the audience mm. and like look at people in the eye and be like, he is alive. Mm-hmm. And like, you have to be really yeah. into it. And I was just like, dude, I, I, I am not down with this. This is the weirdest. <laughs> like, I, I have my like uh, little robe on and I'm like, I walk straight to my parents. I'm like, he's alive. And I'm just like, I don't want to, like, I'm going to just kind of walk I around. Tell, like, yeah, I don't want to so. look at anyone else. This is just so embarrassing. Hey, hey, You're like, people... hey, hey he's, he's alive, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it's easy. Like, no, it's no, 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 just dope. watch the show. Watch the show. <laughs> just read, just read it. Uh, yes. it's, it's, no. <laughs> Pass it down. <laughs> you need to show it to you. You have to get to the end of the row and it's something that, completely different. Yeah, you're playing telephone. Right, yeah. right, right. Well, and I, from experience, know audiences love when the actors approach them. No. <sighs> no. I hate that. No. No. I hate it. Oh, it's awkward. Like, oh, don't. Mm-mm, I'm not a part of this. I don't want to be a part of this show. You're, yeah. you're breaking a wall that I don't really feel like needs to be yeah. broken. I don't, yeah. uh, just let's just keep this uh, relationship as mm-hmm. audience actor. And... <laughs> Please. So that was your big debut. Yeah. Telling your parents that Jesus is alive. Yeah, he is alive. He is alive. But that just was your parents. Know. Just my parents. <laughs> <laughs> and we have we have since devolved to you know, bestiality. You know, turkey. Hmm. Uh, Musicals. I was gonna ask so, what the what the intro I mean, yeah, there's weird parts in the Where Bible, I guess. <laughs> What's the nomination? Let's not have that pastor. Oh, Mormon, got it. Okay. <laughs> hey. Hello. <laughs> knock, knock, knock. Have you seen Book of Mormon? I haven't yet. No, I listen to it all I the think time. You would like it. Oh, I would love it. Yeah, I I, I think it's. It's so well written and it's, it's hilarious. Terrible. It wanna... equally offends everybody. Oh yeah, it. absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. I want to see it so bad. The jump from conservative and 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 Christian and, and Easter plays to your your earlier later work, what your your movie work and yeah. stuff. Like yeah. That. <laughs> how how did that jump <laughs> come about? It was it was actually a really great transition because the parent my parents got divorced when I was like fifteen. Okay. It was like fourteen or fifteen, and rules out the door mm. everything yeah. and so so it was kind of like this yeah incredible i'm like it was incredible i was able to be a teenager <laughs> and, right, right like oh you're having beers you're like 18 you're a senior yeah. like oh okay mm. parent if they were still together and things were still strict oh, there yeah. would be no i would yeah. have not had a social yeah. life that i did right. have so it was kind of like mm. uh, well yeah. we'll take it for what it was yeah. <laughs> you know so you got into Good crowds then. I'm oh yeah, sure. yeah. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. That was all the. That was the fun times. That was the mohawk. Did you have that was a rebellion? Like, was that a rebellious period? Or I would say, yeah, sure. I think okay. that was pretty rebellious. The yeah. the punk the punk bands and mm-hmm. the the punk rock shows. And, oh, the government! No, boo! Government. <laughs> Who did you listen to? Who were your favorites? At that time, I literally like. A band called Anti Flag was <laughs> top of my uh, top of my list. Isn't that a bug spray? Black Anti. Flag. Sorry. Bla- oh yeah, Black Flag. Uh, yeah, and Black Flag yeah. is another band, and that's another well. punk band. Is it really? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. They're good. Talk about free advertising. Yeah, just get a bunch of bug spray. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <Here you> go. <laughs> I'm not sure alive. the guys in Black Flag would be <laughs> cool with that, but <laughs> it seems like kind of. I don't know, kind of their know. ethos, but you yeah, know. yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so wait, anti-flag. Yeah, yeah anti-flag. Um, there's a band called Lagwagon. They're like a a pop punk lag wagon? band. Lagwagon. Lagwagon. How they fun is that? Lag, they did lag, lag, great lag, like lag, pop lag. covers that they did. I, I had a whole bunch of Lagwagons. I'm trying to think. Um, they, well, there were a whole bunch of pop covers at the time that they did in general uh, mm. for the punk scene. But yeah, Lagwagon. Yeah, they're it's, good. Like Bad Religion, No Effects, and. Hmm. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Did you go to concerts? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, my that was my dad started taking me to concerts. I, I'll okay. never forget going. To, we went to Dayton. It was my the second show I'd ever been to. We went to Dayton to go see Lincoln Park, mm. Mm. and uh, Cypress Hill was mm-hmm. opening for them. And my dad and I both had no idea yeah. who Cypress mm. Hill was, and that was my first experience with uh, marijuana because uh. um, it was everywhere. Oh yeah. Um, and my dad's just like. <laughs> My dad is just, uh, oh, what's going on? <laughs> why is really everyone, <laughs> why is everyone smoking? <laughs> and yeah, it's uh, Cypress Hill. Thank you, Cypress Hill, for you doing go. that. That was great. There you go. I didn't know Cypress Hill was into marijuana. <laughs> yeah, Weird. yeah. Who would have pretty who quiet about that? that then? <laughs> who would have thought? <laughs> what's their song? Hits from the bong. <laughs> Weed? It's about bongs. Oh. It's, 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 a, it's a vase. Right. You, yeah, right. you put, pl- put flour in it. Yeah, sort of exactly. Like Genuine's right. Pony is about horseback riding. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. <laughs> uh huh. Uh-huh. 
<laughs> some of the songs we listened to growing up, now hearing them is like, why were oh, we yeah. allowed to listen to them? I mean, oh, that yeah. is straight. That's straight sex happening. Oh, in that absolutely. Song, without question. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. We all sang it like on the bus. And... <laughs> Good morning. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not right. No, no, no. Well, there was. I, I was watching a. Uh, uh, there's this like Vice uh, mm-hmm. news show that covers some one hit wonders. Yeah. Uh, they're like twenty minute little mini Aww. shows. Yeah. And uh, one of the episodes is Sir Mix a Lot's. Yeah. Um, Baby got back. N- not. I'm sorry. Not Sir Mix a Lot. I'm so sorry. Um, Humpty Dance. Not Humpty Dance. Shoot. Uh, uh, it's the. It's shoot. the. Uh, it's the uh, uh, wasn't me uh, Shaggy oh. Shaggy oh. wasn't me wasn't yeah. me Shaggy right yeah, yeah, yeah. and they talk about um, how that idea came to fruition the album mm-hmm. you know reggae in mainstream media in the United States yeah and it's just it, it's hilarious like the songs that they cover and the stories that they have to tell because they cover Blue by Eiffel sixty five yeah. like a lot of really weird yeah. like one off like right. yeah, yeah. Chumbawamba tub thumping but they like, were huge yeah. huge huge yeah. and you never heard of any of these people no. again no. yeah <laughs> no Ch- Chumbawamba had another one though Chumbawamba had so they released you know that they're anarchist punks right no oh they're banned from the United States really yeah. They're not allowed in the country. Chumbawamba. Chumbawamba, yeah, yeah. Tub thumping, like, oh, so innocent. They drink a whiskey drink. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So they wrote they they wrote a song to break into America's yeah. dumbed down like uh, media. And if you listen to the record, I had the record as a kid, yeah. and I didn't understand what the words were saying. But they cover like trickle down theory. They talk so much crap about like Ronald Reagan. Wow. They talk so much crap about American politics in general. Wow. And it took like they said something. I can't remember exactly what they said, but it was on a live like late night TV show, oh. and they got yeah. It was between that and then some sort of like threat that they <laughs> they made. In the Chumbawamba. United States is like yep, Chumbawamba. Yep, Chumbawamba. Excellent music. Yes. Their other stuff is crazy. And they're like a really? ska punk yeah. band, anarchist punk band. Punk. Nuts. Absolutely nuts. With a woman who looks like she belongs in a bank. I always thought the female sure. singer looked a little too formal. I can yeah. see that. For for a tub thumping group, if you will. <laughs> what exa- okay, this is dumb. What is tub thumping? What does that mean? Tub thumping. I can goop. I yeah. yeah I, we'll be singing when we're winging. Yeah. We'll be singing when, we're, was winging. Winning. when we're winging. It might be winning. Mm-hmm. Might be winning. I get knocked down. What does tub thumping mean? <laughs> this is like this really is what interesting. We do. Yeah. yeah. What, what? This is what how is... formal our show is. <laughs> now what you see. Is, what is tub thumping? Is tub... I mean, it's got to be a reference to something. Expressing opinions in a loud and violent or dramatic manner. A tub thumping speech. So that's that actually hilarious sense. because it does. That, that kind of comes full yeah. circle. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. hilarious. Yeah, that is hilarious. Wow. Yeah, they always surprise. They never cease to surprise huh. me on their really subtle wow. jabs. That's, <laughs> that's cool. so funny. That's very cool. interesting. Yeah, that's a rabbit hole to go down because okay. it is so well, interesting. We'll have to listen to that. What's the other one that I like? Oh, um, not Ace of Base. Was Ace of Base the one that's like evil? You told oh, me. Oh, a- uh, Ace wow. of Base are. Um, as far as it, I've looked into it from like Wikipedia and everything. As far as I know, they're neo Nazis or had a neo Nazi streak what? at that time. Okay, double checking again. <laughs> what? Talk Ace amongst yourselves. Base? I know all yes. that she wants is another baby. Oh, that you want. I loved so, that baby. <laughs> I love Ace of Base Ace so much. Of that is base. crazy town. I and cannot. If I say Ace of Base. <laughs> Ace of Base Nazis. <laughs> no, that is. Another... usually comes up as like a. Uh, Reformed, though, aren't they? <laughs> Can you be a reformed Nazi? I'm right. a reformed Nazi. I don't know. I'm not I a was, Nazi. <laughs> yeah. I changed my mind about some things. <laughs> right. I decided yeah, not. Yeah, um, it says past Nazi ties, yeah. So. Oh, I'm yeah. going to, yeah, I got to, yeah. I'm going to have to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah I got to check this out. That speaks about uh, his former Nazi ties. This is just like me, just uh, titles on Google. But yeah, yeah. Ace of Base's secret Nazi past on Vice. It's not so secret anymore, not bud. So secret. Yeah. <laughs> and now, I mean, the world knows. Yeah, the everyone world knows. Is, the world watches. <laughs> Look this up. We do. Yeah. We have listeners in. Before he places. founded Ace of Base, Ulf Ekberg was a neo-Nazi Ulf. skinhead. Was he the hot one, or was he the brother? <laughs> he was that one. Oh, he's the hot one. Wait, oh. I never knew it was. I never knew it was a guy. I thought it was. 
Well, I thought it was a there's two, there's two, oh. there were two sisters and a brother, and then hot guy. Oh, Apparently okay, Nazi. okay, okay. Nazi hot guy. Nazi, 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 Nazi. <laughs> so Every weird. Every Nazi, Nazi, Nazi. Wolf Eckberg, yes, is his name. So, <laughs> so I don't know. I, I, I did not look to see if he has pr- changed his tune or not, but you know. We can only hope. He's probably like a music producer. Yeah, he's yeah yeah, he's probably like producing music in a yeah in a really nice space. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Or not. I hope he's well. (laughs) How you doing, old? I hope he's you know changed his tune about his politics, his problematic politics. But you know, if you're out there, you know, yeah, yeah, he's one of our German listeners. (laughs) Were they German? We've got we've got a few in Germany. We do have a few. Yeah, in Germany. We've got a few in. But Asa Base, I didn't. I thought they were Swedish. They're not German. Ulf. <laughs> uh. Did you take a language in school? Yeah, I took four years of French. Do you still use it? Uh, absolutely not. I I. Can you did, read it? I can. I if if I really have to take my time, okay. I could recognize some words. Like I like, could I could hold a conversation like oh Sava. Sava. Okay. I don't yeah, know cool. what that means. But... Uh, that, that's literally a conversation. It's like What's that up? means okay. Like okay. you are you okay? And Sava. then you say you can say Sava, and that's like okay. Oh, good. So that's literally that's. I it. learned that that's... from Flight of the Concords. Oh, did you? <laughs> Swedish. They, that's what. Hey. Like, Swedish. Yes. Yeah. Oh, the and, and and definitely <laughs> Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> you you can read some things. I I would not. Uh, yeah. I don't. I do not agree with your politics. Sir. No. Yeah. Boo. Boo. Boo, Boo Nazis. Nazis. Boo Nazis. Sorry. That's a, I'm, that's not a, I feel like that's not a, daring, anyway. not a daring stance these How days. I don't know. Well, this happens. Well, we're, 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 uh, Skinner Rink. Sharon Lois and Bram. That's where we went. <laughs> yeah, that's where, we went. yeah. <laughs> that's where we went. Yeah. That's where we went. But yeah, that's a good movie. Film. You guys need to watch Skinner Rink. Skin Rink. It's absolutely creepy. It, it's one of the creepiest movies I think I've ever seen in my entire life. I don't know that I'd like it then. It's it's awful. Like it's they Like gore awful or No, 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 no. Like I don't I didn't really want to turn the lights off in my room when I went Wow. Wow. Cuz it was uh, like afraid of the dark noises like that thud well, I just heard. That was kind <laughs> of Nobody's in here. Creepy. To to, yeah, that was creepy. Um We got too much to do. That uh yeah, that that movie's fantastic. Wow. It, you, when you watch it, it looks like it's shot like on an old camera. It's mm. super oh. grainy and wow, huh. really creepy. If you watch the trailer, yeah, that kind of gives you an idea mm. as to what okay. you're getting into. It's very weird. It is very weird. Is it super an American creepy. picture or foreign? It, I believe it's American, but there's not a super ton of dialogue. You'll see. Hmm. I don't want to give well, anything I'm watch away. It. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't like creepy movies. I don't like to be scared. Except I listen to murder podcasts, so that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, yeah. that's, I mean, that's not, that's it's real. Yeah, that's, that's real stuff. nonfiction. I know. Yeah. So you're up to date on, like, the Idaho thing. Um, no, not really. You're not up to date on that? Not up to date on that. That's terrible. My girlfriend's, like, obsessed with the horror, the, not horror, the murder like, podcast. Murder stuff. Like, I, yeah. she has all the Instagrams where they'll have, like, a hundred stories with, and yeah. just reading stuff all the time. And so she's constantly, like, up to date on all that stuff. I don't know why it's fascinating, but it is. Oh, it's so weird. And it's terrible. <laughs> it's I mean, it's horrible it's stuff. terrible. There's only been a couple that I'm, I can't, like, I can't remember. There was a couple in the 50s or 60s, and they murdered children. Like, I couldn't. Oh, good That Lord. one wasn't. I had to turn that one off. I'm a, I, I am personally invested in the, uh, the Lori Vallow mm. thing. Have you guys heard of that? Mm-mm. Oh, it's so bizarre. It, it, she, it, she... She murdered her husband, and then the guy that she met was, like, this pastor saying that, oh, God's like, Jesus is going to come back, and he's going to take us. We're, like, the chosen ones. And he murdered his wife, and then they murdered her two kids or something. Oh, my gosh. And they went to Hawaii and were celebrating a honeymoon when all this was going down. There's a huge manhunt. They found him in Hawaii I feel like that sounds familiar. And Hmm. they're, oh, it's just, like, crazy the interviews with these people what they, they believed they and what they 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 literally think they're wow the chosen the chosen and you got to kill everybody yeah the to sacrifice something it's it's a whole mess oh, of gosh. stuff it's just that stuff fascinates me because i'm just like how how do you get to this point right. yeah. how do you get to, how do you get here wild that's insane it's awful yeah it's awful but what was again, the, it's fascinating um, Oh gosh, Jeffrey Dahmer. Did you watch the Dahmer? Oh, I couldn't. Okay. That made me sick. Okay. That first. Uh, did you watch it? I did not. He doesn't. 
I, I, first, <laughs> oh, first episode, I was just like, I'm, was, I'm out. Like, yeah. I, I can't. I'll have to watch. If I watched an episode of this, I'm gonna have to reset my brain before bed. What watching mm-hmm. the Muppet movie or yeah. something <laughs> to get, get <laughs> out of this? Right, yeah, I, I, I'm gonna need at least another hour to get myself out of this uh, funk because that was it was it was a lot. Like no music. It was very like mm-hmm. quiet and. Mm-hmm. Ultra creepy and awful. Oh, that was and true and true and yeah. true. Yeah. Right and true. Uh, no, yeah. I did. I watched. I watched it before bed. Of course, it doesn't. <laughs> that doesn't bother me. Yeah, it was so well done. It's so terrible. Yeah, he was a horrible person. Yeah, awful, awful person. I. Mm-mm. You'd yeah. love Skin of Marine. Yeah, I think you really? should. Do. Yeah, absolutely. I just want you to watch it. Really, I know you I'm do. just I'm kind not, of like. I'm not. <laughs> Did you? Did you? Did you do it yet? Did you see it? Are you... So, okay, let's go back, because we started here. And yeah. And we keep going random directions. Thanks, Killing. Yeah. How did that happen? That was uh, my friend, Jordan Downey. We went to uh, high school together. Mm-hmm. And we made... Uh, we actually made a movie together in an abandoned school. I put together this prop with a watermelon where this guy got a curtain dropped over his head and then we took a sledgehammer and bashed his head in but it was a watermelon with a bunch of blood it was great so we made this movie together he went off to uh loyola marymount film school Mm -hmm. in california i went to ou and fast forward four years he comes we he comes back to heath i'm Mm -hmm. on break he's almost done with school and he throws the script in front of me at a jolly pirate donuts and says hey this is my college thesis and i gotta shoot this in a week Oh can you help me cast this and so we he had some people <laughs> cast already we start, started going through my little flip phone like oh, I, this person's an actor i'll just call them and <laughs> then yeah we shot the movie like right then right there how long did it take 10 days 10 days <laughs> wow lots of sleep lots of sleepless nights yeah. and probably a lot of filming at night yeah yeah lots of filming at night and hammered it out and then we never heard about it for another year and did then, he submit it? Yeah, he got I, he got a good score on it. Yeah, he got it. Mm-hmm. He 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 had to submit it for a grade. It was his right, uh, but then like to film and, festivals and things. Did he do that or no? I think that he just they had a completed film and uh, streaming wasn't a thing yet. Netflix yeah. was starting to branch into that. They mm-hmm. were still doing the DVD mailers, yeah. and he was able to get it on the stream Netflix streaming service before it peaked when they were taking anything. I mean, Netflix, yeah. when it first started, it was awful. Right. And that's, and, oh, I saw, I saw that, that movie on Netflix. And I was like, what? Netflix, what? And <laughs> that is kind of what snowballed it. And, wow. Yeah. You've got a following. Wow. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's insane. Small but mighty. Yeah. And still prominent. I mean, yeah. It's still yeah. out there. Yeah, oh, it's definitely still out Enthusiastic. there. Enthusiastic. For sure, yeah, definitely. yeah, yeah. People love it. You love it, or it's like you roll your eyes, like, "Oh my god, that movie is <laughs> terrible." And I'm like, I agree with you. I'm so sorry you <laughs> sat through it. I apologize. Worst hour and seven minutes of your life. I'm sure. <laughs> that's, that's not long. They ha- made it just long enough to be a feature film. One oh six. It's something like that. Yeah, it's it's yeah. Oh, that's funny. Hour seven. Huh. Wow. So, and be- who did you play? Darren the nerd. Yeah. What yeah. does Darren do? Sorry. Darren cracks codes. He is he is he is your cliche nerd. Mm-hmm. He's a little, you know, a little nervous being around the popular kids, you know, and he knows how to solve mathematical equations on the fly, ancient mathematical equations wow. to <laughs> resolve yeah. issues pertaining to. Did you dig deep for this character? Is this something within you? I I channeled I channeled myself really I you know I'm really good at math and I you Are know you really? I, I had no absolutely oh. not <laughs> <laughs> and you know I had the I had the thick black rim glasses yeah. and everything I had you know I was I was you're into it I was all on it yeah yeah it was a thing yeah it was a thing it was a thing just wanted to be one of the cool kids I just wanted to fit in yeah did you die <laughs> absolutely Spoiler. absolutely okay. absolutely got killed absolutely got killed that was fun that was a uh, the turkey pulls my tongue out and then pecks my heart out right after that. <laughs> great, great what did you use? For, was it a puppet? Yeah, the turkey was definitely like a latex puppet. They put the beak into my mouth and pulled my tongue out. It was, <laughs> but it was it was it was always really it was really hard to film because you had to have the puppeteer kind of like right up on you mm-hmm. and the turkey's like right there. So yeah. you're all kind of like on top Everybody's of each other. Snuggling. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> it definitely got really close. <laughs> and that was your first film. That was my first film. That was my first film. So you're a movie and, star. Yeah. How long was it before like you started like really kind of going like, whoa, there's a lot of people who are into this? Yeah. Uh, uh, is this a rated R show? Is this a yeah. rated R show? Yeah. It was a, uh, I was at a bar in Columbus. I had just like, I just turned like 21 or something. And I was like out and about and I was having a beer at a bar and this girl looks at me and she goes, you look really familiar. And I'm like, I have no idea who this person is. This is really weird. And it, yeah, that, that ended up escalating into other things when she made the connection, like, Oh, you're that guy from that movie. And I was like, and then I was like, yeah, 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 I am. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh-huh. I am in that movie. You seen it? And yeah. she's like, yeah, I have. Yeah. Would, can I buy you a drink? Like, oh, absolutely. Right. Let's, let's go. And nice. then, okay. and yeah, and then, and then stuff like in the bathroom later. And it was great. And I'm like, yeah. this is this is what it feels like to be, to <laughs> be recognized <laughs> in public. This is very weird. Well, well done. Yeah. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank very you. Nice. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. 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 Super proud. Super proud. And then you became a musician. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Excuse me. I'm a classy lady. Absolutely. I don't. I, yeah, yeah. I, I agree. <laughs> so not you know. <laughs> but how did that come about? Like, how did you start doing your doing the rap thing? Yeah. Well, I was in it. So in high school and stuff, I was in the punk band. Had the Mohawk. Mm-hmm. We did tours, played Warp tours and Riot mm-hmm. Fest and all these things and. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, you know, playing uh, playing my drums. Boop, boop, boop. What all did you play? I played drums. Okay. Played drums. Uh, loved it. I loved playing drums, but drums do not travel well in the apartments. Mm. Uh, you yeah. can't. True. So those are gone. Those I haven't mm. played drums in a long time now. But when the band broke up, oh. I was like, you put 10 years into something, it's like, that's a lot of time. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to start over with right. someone else because being in a band yeah. sucks and it's really, really hard. So I was like, what can I do by myself mm-hmm. and like kind of do the thing? And I saw this guy named MC Lars, who I always thought was hilarious because he had just very simple, like nerdy raps about Edgar Allan Poe. He has a song called Raven and he has a whole he's got his discography is absolutely amazing. It's just a lot of really fun. Like there's a song featuring Wheatus yeah. called Don't Be a Cyber Bully. Mm. And it's about Internet bullying. And it's great. Oh, it's yeah. a really great song. He, he it's talked so about fun. that. Didn't yeah. You? Oh, yeah. did he? He talked about that? Yeah, I that's think rad. so. That's rad. That's awesome. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but that, yeah, that track's like super fun. That, but that's MC Lars. He's just a really nice, super nice guy with yeah. uh, super fun uh, nerd. Educational. Ed- ed- very. He has a, yeah. There's yeah. a whole album about the Bible. It's wow. great. Wow. Okay. <laughs> He's he's very thoughtful. He's a huge ICP fan. It's very strange. The guy the guy's into a lot of lot of different stuff. <laughs> but I I saw this guy live, and I was just like, dude, I could do that. Yeah. His first album was called Laptop Rap, and I had my little <laughs> Apple laptop from college. I'm like, dude, I, I can, I can, can do this. Do so I made some, made some beats, recorded everything on my computer at home, and then I just started playing shows. And I was like, oh, this is fun. And then I played the same set for probably five, six, seven years. Oh my god, a really long time. Because yeah. I didn't take it serious. I was just like, oh, this is a this hobby. Is and then finally started writing some more music, taking it a little bit more serious, and now. South by Southwest has happened last year. That's wow. Amazing. Got invited back this year, but not doing that. Got some big announcements coming and okay. new records and all this stuff later. So I'm super excited. Yeah. And so now it's fun. How do That's you come cool. up with your name? Um, my middle name's Eugene. Okay. And huge Eugene. Doesn't. Huge, huge, huge. And no one can ever pronounce it correctly, which is fine. It doesn't read <laughs> well. It does yeah. not read well. You look at it and go, huge, 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 yeah, huge, egg. yeah. The, uh, the, the holiday show. So the huge, yeah. huge holiday show that I yeah. did for a while, which was a blast. Was oh, I'm glad. I'm so, I was, I'm yeah. still so, so happy you guys came out. So yeah. fun. I'm glad you guys had fun. Yeah. yeah. Um, when, before Cameo was a thing, I was actually finding celebrities on social media and mm-hmm. reaching out to them saying yeah. like, yo, could you like throw me a bone and like promote mm-hmm. my show with a video shout out? The very first person who did it was John Hurd from Home Alone. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. he, I found him on Facebook and he's like, oh, dude, he have my email. Like, let's communicate via email. Holy cow. And he has since passed, which was like yeah. really sad. But yeah. recently, we, too. Last year? Yeah, it was a couple years ago, I think. Okay. Yeah. Um, but we have this long email thread where he sent me like five or six different takes of him reading the flyer and oh like giving a shout out to this thing. But he would, every take, he would completely obliterate 
huge, huge, which I would never wanted to correct anybody uh, on because it's right, like this is right. so hard to yeah. like yeah. coach, like huge, Y U G E, but it never it never translated well. So he's just huge, huge, like <laughs> holiday, <laughs> holiday festival. Like, really funny. It is John Hurt's voice. Yeah, yeah. He, and he did, he did a, uh, I think at the one, one of the takes that I ended up using at the very end, he's like, hey, I'm the Home Alone dad. Kevin! <laughs> <laughs> and when he did that, oh, I was amazing. like, oh my god, like, this is awesome. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I would fangirl over that. Yeah, it was that's awesome. It was super cool. It was just it was it was so cool. And that means like I had the cameo idea before they did in Chicago, and I mm. could have totally started that, and I'm so bummed that I wow. didn't. <laughs> so you've met some some big people along the way then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh is it just do you find that really it's just an ask? Yeah, it abs- yeah. It, it's, it's absolutely an ask. That's all mm-hmm. it is uh, yeah. for anyone. I think the hardest part is finding someone who is available yeah. on social media. You have to, a lot of people, because a lot of people ask me, like, how do you get these people? Like, I've been trying to get, you know, so-and-so for my event. And it's like, you're you're, you're shooting too high. Like, yeah. you can, it's yeah. always good to send an email. You never know who's right. going to see sure. it. Nope. You know, if someone has 2 million Instagram followers, send them a message because, mm-hmm. You just never know. Right. They're right. probably not going to, but you might as well try. You got to find someone that's not necessarily super active in the mm-hmm. community and yeah. just existing, and they have a very small they had social a media thing at some point. Mm-hmm. Ex- exactly, yeah. exactly. Those are the folks who typically run their own personal mm-hmm. accounts that aren't run by other people. Like yeah. going through agents. If you go through management, it's just a done deal. It's going to be too expensive. They're yeah. going to want a few thousand dollars for yeah. something. Yeah. But yeah, wow. yeah. Asking, asking's crazy. It's ridiculous. John Heard. Yeah, man. John Heard. It's a good get, man. That was good. It's a really good get. I had this uh, really funny story. Did I tell you, have I told you guys about the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase story? No. Do you know who that is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. From, from uh, WWF back in the day, uh, Ted DiBiase had like a, he, the Million Dollar Championship. You know, he was, uh, he, he wrestled with Hulk Hogan. And okay, guys. I know him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wrestled with him. <laughs> but like Macho, like Macho, Macho Man, Randy Man, yeah. Savage, like he was, he kind of ran with that group in that era. Slim Jims. Yeah. yeah and <laughs> he had a, he had a website that was clearly created like, with Wix or something, yeah. just a very basic website. Yeah. Here, contact me. You know, I fill mm-hmm. out the contact form, blah, blah, blah. Submit it. And you, I, I submit hundreds of these things to yeah. different random celebrities. Mm-hmm. And I forget about it. Like, mm-hmm. uh, they'll reach out to me. Right. Yeah. So I'm, I'm sitting at work one day. I worked at the Verizon Wireless Call Center doing tech support or whatever. Mm-hmm. And my phone rings. And it's a, it's like a weird number and booking these shows. I, I pick up every telemarketer yeah. call. You yeah. pick up every phone call. So I picked up the phone. Hello? He's like, hey, is this Ryan? It was freaking Ted, Ted DiBiase, legendary <laughs> WWF wrestler. And we had a conversation for like 30 minutes. While you were on the clock. While I was on the clock. It was great. <laughs> yep, went straight to the bathroom. <laughs> Boom. Uh, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so that like those kind of weird one-off yeah. phone calls are, are crazy. The craziest thing about Ted DiBiase is we ended up not making a deal. Um, mm-hmm. It was just he was a little too expensive. But fast forward a year, I get a phone call. Uh, this time I didn't grab it. It went to voicemail, but it was Ted DiBiase again saying, Ryan, I'm, uh, I don't know if we've ever talked, but I found this email inquiry from you from like a year ago. I just wanted to call to see if Aww. you were still interested. And I called him back and I told him, hey, no, we're good. I was like, we're good. Yeah. Thank you so much. That was a, a while ago. Just mm-hmm. you didn't yeah. miss anything. You yeah. know, I didn't want yeah. him to feel bad. And then like six months later, I get another voicemail just... identical to the one that I got like oh. hey Ryan uh, oh. yeah I saw this message and I, and it was like oh, oh no so now every now every now and again um, I have his number saved in my phone and mm-hmm. so every now and again I'll go out to the bar with friends and yeah. just try to call they him call see him. if I can get him on the line yeah. just to say hey what's up man uh, he hasn't picked up yet mm-hmm. I've and if it goes to voicemail I'll be like oh hey this is you know so and so with a inquiry for blah 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 and see if he calls me back mm. he'll probably call me back in another year I don't oh, know yeah. But, <laughs> yeah. but we received your email. <laughs> we got your email. <laughs> Who's the coolest person you've ever met? Besides um, me. Besides yeah, me. I was it's actually going to say uh, Krista, you mm-hmm. know. Um, yeah, it's fine. That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <You're right. laughs> I stay humble. <laughs> uh, I don't. I've met so many, like, really. I've had so many really bizarre and super fun times with, like, a lot of people. Yeah. I had a. 
I had a video chat with Paul Rubens, which was oh, oh my god, wow. cool. that's um, awesome. So we got to chat um, on the yeah. phone for probably like five minutes and just that's cool. Talked while I was drinking tequila with the guy who voices Duke Nukem. Oh wow, his name's uh, John St. John. Yeah. Like, oh, hell yeah, hell yeah. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so that was like, that's where a lot was, of my voices come from. <laughs> yeah, it was a really weird day. Like, oh, yeah. Paul Rubens and Duke Nukem, like, lots of tequila. Like, what's going on? I don't on? know Duke Nukem. What is that? Duke Nukem's a video game. Yeah. It was sort of like, a, it was a first-person shooter, like Doom or, or any. It was an early game, and the lead character was this, was this like, hyper masculine like <laughs> like b movie sort of like action hero type of guy who had these Lots really of abs and... yeah and really dumb quips that he always said it's like it's time to kick ass and chew, chew bubble gum, gum. And i'm all out of gum <laughs> yeah that's and, it yeah. that is that is <laughs> so, totally it and, wow. and it was yeah but the <laughs> game was kind of over the top and violent and there you could like poop and pee in it and flush toilets. It was it was hilarious. And this is like the '90s, so yeah. Uh, like, I mean, to walk to walk before. up to a urinal, you, yeah. you'd be like, you'd hear a zipper and it'd be like, ah, oh. and then it would flush, yeah. and you just thought that was so yeah, it cool. Was the like, funniest whoa, thing ever seen. I can't yeah. believe I just oh, wow. did this. Yeah. Do urinals flush? I didn't know that. Yeah. They kind of. <laughs> uh, what, what? I guess I don't or, or like, they just overflow or what? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know what? In fairness. <laughs> In Whoa. fairness, it's not a bad act, bad question to ask. Yeah. Well, no, it could they, just they go do down flush. the. Yeah. I yeah. don't it's use just, them. Um. It's it's like, it's not like a sink hole where like it goes down, <laughs> right, it just goes right, right down the sink hole. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's got a clean. I'm sorry, I just had the picture, yeah. and I thank you. Yeah, you yeah. just take a paper towel afterward and just <laughs> and clean up yes. my clean up my mess. Yep. Meep, 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 meep. <laughs> sorry. So, okay, Paul Rubens, Duke Nukem. Yeah, Paul Rubens, Duke Nukem. <laughs> and urinals flush. Urinals flush. <laughs> yep. They do. <laughs> that is confirmed. They do, they do they flush. Do. Google it. No, yes. just you don't need to do that. <laughs> hey, Siri, do urinals, urinals flush? That's going to come up weird. I found this on the web. Oh. Understanding urinals and how they flush. Yeah, right. <laughs> yes. You should send that it's to Krista. Yeah, I don't. That, I'm good. Send that right over. <laughs> She'll Google it later. <laughs> <laughs> was it the other day? You sit in the office with somebody and it was like, we're out of toilet paper. I'm going to get toilet paper. It's a thing. <laughs> I can't go to the bathroom. <laughs> I'm a girl. <laughs> it's this a has thing. to happen. It's a thing. It's a girl thing. <laughs> yeah, anyway. So why did you have a conversation with Paul Rubens? Just random? Yeah. Yeah, That's just a cool. random, yeah. random video call with Paul Rubens. I was with my buddy, and we chatted with him for like five minutes. He's gonna he he has this really incredible like I'm a Pee Wee Herman fanboy. Mm-hmm. I love Pee Wee Herman. Yeah, and uh, he apparently is holding on to a script for a new Pee Wee movie. Oh my god! I've heard rumors about it where it's like this. It's a more grown up version but he's the same kind of thing i, I don't know it's very heard. it's very dark and we yes. talked we talked about that very and, dark yeah um he's he's tried to shop it and no one's like interested so really? he's 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 hoping like maybe to do a self-funded thing but he's i mean he's also getting older he just yeah. he just did he just did a peewee movie that was released a few years ago oh yeah um uh peewee's big holiday yeah and it was really good mm-hmm. i actually i was on a uh I was on a bus. I did a I did a tour in Cleveland at the Cleveland Museum of Art hmm. with Mark Mothersbaugh, hmm. uh, the lead singer of Devo. Devo. And, yes, but, yeah. but he also he also uh, does like the theme song for a lot of like Nickelodeon yeah. shows and yeah. a ton of He's movies. He's an Ohio guy, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Akron. Akron. Okay. Hmm. And we we took a we he had this whole like exhibit where he was showing off all these instruments that he had built, kind of giving a, it was hmm. kind of giving a. a, a a tour himself which was so 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 cool and then the other half of the exhibit was in akron so we took a bus from cleveland to akron and he was on the bus and the whole way over there we listened to the peewee's big holiday soundtrack and mark Hmm. had you know this microphone he's walking around i was able to get like a picture with him and stuff and ask him questions oh uh, i had a really scary run-in with him because i 
when I had first met him, bef- when we were loading onto the bus, mm-hmm. I went up to him. I, I get really nervous like, mm. meeting somebody like that. I still do. I, I shake. <laughs> it's Aww. horrifying. And I was like, hey, Mr. Mother's Ball, like... I just wanted to say, like, I really appreciate everything that you've done. You know, just the yeah. dumb, you know, yeah. I had, I got to say this. Right. I got to just say yeah. the dumb shit. I yeah. have mm-hmm. to. And I said the dumb shit, and he just looked at me and said, I can't find my briefcase. I can't leave without my briefcase. And then he just walked away. And I was just like, oh, shit. <laughs> I was just like, oh, this is, like, awful. I feel terrible. But I think that he recognized the energy on the bus and spent a lot of time hanging out with me in my uh, seat. And we were just kind of like, that's right. why I was able to get like a quick selfie with him. Mm-hmm. He wasn't taking selfies with people. And, oh, cool. Hmm. But yeah, that was, that was super, that was that's a cool. really neat But you get nervous thing. meeting people. Yeah. Yeah. I really? met, I met Jack Black at, oh uh, at a show mm-hmm. once and he was wearing a tiger shirt. Mm. It's kind of like, it, I, he kind of wears these shirts all the yeah. time with like a giant, like Bengal tiger face. And I pulled out my phone and I'm shaking Aww. and he was literally like, whoa, like we should retake that. Cause that was really shaky. You're like really shaking there. Huh? Like mm-hmm. you nervous son. And I'm just like, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, he's yeah. like, we should get someone else to take it. You're way too shaky. We need a good picture. How do you calm down then? Does it just eventually dissipate? No, no. I like, I'll probably <laughs> die of a heart attack meeting somebody. Oh, wow. wow. Like my blood pressure skyrockets. I think I lose, like, I just, I, I don't know what it is. I try to like, huh. calm down, like calm yeah. down. Yeah. Nope. Nope. Oh my God. Who do you want to meet that you haven't met? I would, I still am. I want to meet Paul Rubens in person so okay. bad. Um, that's probably, that's your person. Probably it. I've, I've met so many people. I've met everyone I could imagine. Heather Graham. Uh, um, yeah, Heather Grant, we actually were talking, never mind, I don't want to show this. <laughs> I, I do feel bad. She asked me not to talk about it. Uh, <laughs> can't bring it yeah. up. <laughs> it's not I like that Heather Graham is at home somewhere in Los Angeles in some huge mansion just sitting around worried that you just don't like her very much, and then she's, yeah. What did I do? <laughs> No. I thought I was reaching everybody, but not her, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your celebrity crush? Um, celebrity crush? Ooh. Um, what era? God. I know. Yeah, well, there's, like a, there's, like a, there's like a lot. I think that uh, I think that my ongoing celebrity crush is still a woman named Amy Jo Johnson. Oh, yeah. She was a... Uh, Pink Power Ranger. Yeah. Mm. And she was in, I think, a show, a TV show with a limited run called SWAT. I think she was a... A police oh, officer yeah. in SWAT that only had like she was a very pretty. Yeah, I'm sure she still is. She is. Yeah. Oh, she's fantastic. She's I was, not acting now. I think she does like a little bit. Um, yeah. she I, lifetime movie. Those comic conventions are so popular in mm-hmm. the United States. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. all she has to do is do a couple of those a year. I'm sure, and you're right. set. Yeah, like, set. Yeah. You're, I mean, go. you're making. Yeah. A hundred bucks for like you know fifty to a hundred bucks for an autograph, and mm-hmm. that's just one. You know. Yeah. yeah. You're making a lot of money, and I, and I know that those conventions pay like. Well, it's crazy. ironic because we have another podcast today with our friend Vic, who hosts like a, all the. Yeah, he's, like a, he's, he's a comic book artist. He's the MC oh, wow. of going to uh, going around to different comic cons, and he's talked to like all the Marvels and all the mm-hmm. all those yeah. people, and just yeah. The so. stories he tells too, it just yeah. rolls. It's like yeah, off. I was I was hanging out with this person. You're like. What? Sorry, <laughs> yeah. Right, like casually. Yeah. Just hanging yeah. Out the, yeah, hanging like out. Rosario yeah. Dawson is a Yeah, Rosario Dawson. And... He's got like yeah. pictures that have gone like viral of him and Rosario Dawson. And yeah. Oh, he's, that's he's awesome. Nuts. Yeah, he's, yeah, it's crazy. So he's awesome. I love hearing those stories. I think that that's yeah. one of my favorite things. I love hearing stories mm-hmm. about people meeting you yeah. know, celebrities people, or yeah. like, how did that go? Like, what did you guys talk about? Yeah. Like, yeah. I yeah. love, I love hearing that. One stuff. of my favorites is any hearing anything about Lin-Manuel, Mar- <laughs> Lin-Manuel Miranda. Oh you know yeah. That? Yeah. Because he, um, so a friend of mine from college was applying to be the company manager of Hamilton when it moved to Chicago. And so Lin-Manuel basically handpicks his people. Mm-hmm. And Matt's like, I was nervous as hell going into it. He said they talked for five minutes about the job, and then they spent thirty-five minutes watching YouTube videos. Just <laughs> you gotta be kidding me! Nope. That is hilarious. <laughs> that he's just so laid back, and the yeah. way that he geeks out about people. Mm. Just watching him on like the late night shows when Weird yeah. Al covered his Hamilton album, he was yeah. flipping out. Oh, yeah. so he's one that wow. I would love to meet. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, but yeah. he's just a cool guy. Oh, I'll bet. 
I mean, that's so cool. Like, seeing someone of his status Mm -hmm. freak out about a Weird Al. I mean, that's a rite of passage. Oh, absolutely. Weird Al covers something. But he is still like, oh, it's Weird Al. You know, like, and I would argue that Lin-Manuel Miranda is, like, bigger than uh, Weird Al for Mm -hmm. sure. He's like, oh. Weird Al's yeah. covering my stuff. Yeah. So, like that's so cool. Yeah. That's, it's like so innocent. Well, there's all those stories. Like he, like he would call like Nirvana up and talk to Kurt Cobain, and be like, "Hey, I want to do a parody of you know, it Smells Like Teen Spirit." And they, they're like, "Oh my God, can we play back?" <laughs> yeah. Right, right. Yeah. No, right. you may not. It's mm-hmm. a parody of your song, you know. And, but yeah, was, I love that stuff. And Prince apparently was the one that was always like, "No." You can't cover any of my music. He didn't get permission <laughs> yeah. for Gangster's Paradise, though, did, or for Amish Paradise, right? He, there was a weirdness Coolio about it. There was some sort of like weirdness. He asked for permission for everybody. Yeah. Um, but I don't remember what that story was, but there was some sort of wonkiness with Coolio, and Coolio was weird about it. And, it's one of his know, best. But, yeah. They made up for it before Coolio passed, though. Yes. Yeah. They didn't make up for it. Like that, and, and, and that happened like years ago. But yeah. Coolio had actually talked about it in an interview. Like, oh, okay. dude, like we're like we're, we're way yeah. cool. It was once he heard it. I don't think, I don't think Coolio really understood. Right. Yeah. What? Yeah. yeah. He he thought that, it would be because yeah. it's such a serious song. I think mm-hmm. that's what it was. It was just yeah. like it, it's such a serious song and it means a lot to me. I didn't want someone to you know defecate <laughs> to, to, on to, it or to crap something. on it. Yeah. <laughs> right. But he got Florence Henderson for that video. <laughs> that, to me, was one of the most impressive parts. Yeah. Just seeing Flo on there. I mean, yeah. <laughs> she and I are on a first name basis or anything. But, man. Who was, oh, wait. So, Amy Jo Johnson. Yeah, Amy Jo Johnson. Who did you like as a kid? Amy Jo Johnson. Oh, that's true. Yeah. You oh, grew f- up with that show. Oh, yeah. Power Rangers. I didn't watch it. Well, it was Amy Jo, Amy jo Johnson and then April O'Neil. Like, and Je- and Jessica yeah. Rabbit. Yeah, I think I had more of a crush on cartoon characters than I did like actual humans. Yeah, I can see so that. Still a bit. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I, <laughs> I, I went maybe. to C- CCAD for animation, so yeah, I can get that to a degree. Yeah, <laughs> Babs Bunny on Space Jam, like, dude, she's a rabbit, but mm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you're a furry, is what you're saying. <laughs> I mean, for Babs, uh... <laughs> they didn't make cute male cartoons i don't think at least i don't know what i've never been attracted to a male cartoon none of the ninja turtles johnny bravo <laughs> yeah, johnny. johnny bravo is by flat. nature by character design attractive right. that's his whole shtick right. yeah he was kind of annoying yeah. oh. <laughs> good looking people are tommy kind of annoying what are you saying? Yeah. Oh, tommy, <laughs> tommy <laughs> tommy <laughs> that show Rats was a good show i liked that one i talked to her on the phone too who um, Christine Cavanaugh? No, the name? voice of uh, Tommy Pickles, who also was in Pee Wee's Big Adventure, because I was going to have her come out to mm. the holiday show for the last one, and she she, she literally laughed at my offer, and I oh. knew it was bad as soon as I got off the phone with oh. her. But yeah, That's that was very nice. One. Yeah, I, <laughs> <laughs> she will also not be coming on. Yeah, show. <laughs> I can't. Man, why can't I remember? I'm like drawing a brain fart. Yeah, yeah, she played Dottie, and she's the voice of Tommy Pickles. She's googling why in the world she's that her name is like second nature to me i feel embarrassed i'm very it's not embarrassed. a christine is it no no oh she was tommy mm. not chucky I she think, was tommy yeah I think the I'm woman thinking. who did uh chucky elizabeth daly away. elizabeth daly elizabeth daly yeah mm. huh eg daly is how e. she's daly. typically billed okay, okay. eg daly hmm. she did the powerpuff girls she did one of the okay. Powerpuff Girls as well. That was a show I also never watched. I think I was too old for that one when it came yeah. out. Like, I don't know. We were high school. We? I liked it a lot. It was a cool show. It was just, <laughs> I was in that weird era where I was still watching all the old cartoons and yeah. not any of the new stuff. And the new stuff wasn't cool, but yeah. <laughs> so, no. yeah. No, then never... Adult Swim came out and I was like, oh, wait, this is amazing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, speaking of Adult Swim, total pivot. Okay. We were talking about horror movies earlier. Yeah. Um, and I know it's kind of out of season. Highly recommend watching the movie Yule Log. Mm. Have you heard of this? I have not. Have you heard of Yule Log? So it's an adult swim film. It's a feature film. Okay. And it starts off, it's just a Yule Log. <laughs> and it's just a Yule Log for a while. And you kind of hear some <laughs> stuff going on. Like, okay. Then you start hearing some noises in the background. And then like there's some other noises. And someone's yelling at someone. And uh-huh. it just kind of... It just kind of escalates from there. But it's just called Yule Log. It's an adult swim movie. And I don't want to tell you anything more about it. But they really get, like, (laughs) 
It's amazing. It's yeah. one of the craziest <laughs> well, things I have it, ever many, seen. Too Many Cooks shows the... Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 dude, yeah, Too yeah, Many yeah. Cooks is amazing. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. That's what I've always been impressed by, is just the, the level that they're, they're willing to just go it way too far <laughs> with everything. Yeah. Like, to the point where it's like it becomes, like, sublimely too far. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hmm. Log okay. definitely yeah. does that. All it'll right. it, it'll meet all of your expectations. Hilarious. Okay. I watched it on a Sunday morning before oh Christmas all by myself, and I was crying laughing. It's your favorite holiday so tradition good. now. Yeah, oh, 100%. Like, I uh, need I need a hard copy of it because wow. I don't want it to go away or disappear. Yeah. I wow. need to have it. Hmm. Yule I'll log. Check that out. Yule, Yule log. log. Yeah. Yule log. Yes. Huh. Yule log. Adult Swim. Okay. Must watch. Streaming. Yeah. Okay. I think yeah. HBO. Yeah. Okay. HBO has all of the, the Adult I never Swim watched stuff. Adult Swim. I feel like when it came out, it felt like it was kind of one of those that mom was just like, this is kind of a naughty... It's the, well, they showed South like Park your Futuramas kind of. and your Family Guys, and that was like how Family Guy kind of came back. It's okay. like because it disappeared for eight years or something like that, and same thing with Futurama as well. And they mm. literally brought those shows back, uh, but then they started developing their own programming and their own programming. Like they started off doing like taking shows from like the seventies and sort of like revoicing them, like C Lab, Brack, Brack and Brack, Space the Ghost. Brack Show, Space Ghost. Yeah. Space Ghost, Ghost. I did Ghost. like that one. That's like that is yeah. Mm. I, Space Ghost is amazing. But, yeah, like, then they started getting into other shows at, like, 12 Ounce Mouse that just got, like, weirder and weirder and weirder. And it was brilliant. Mm. But a lot of times you're just like, I don't know what the hell is going on. You have to be point. smoking. Yeah. You have yeah. you have to. I mean, that, yeah, it, was, to. it was yeah. stoner culture. It was yeah. definitely stoner stuff. It, yeah. And then it makes sense. Yeah, then it yeah. makes sense. Yeah. It was or, Cartoon Network, though, wasn't it? Like, after a certain yeah. hour? Yeah. It, yeah. it was after, like, 9 11 p.m. or, or oh, something like that. that. Yeah. Huh. What was the yeah. fast food one? What was that called? That was uh, Aqua Teen Hunger Aqua Force. Yeah. Which is, yeah. Has still some of my, the lines that I still quote to this day. Where just like, <laughs> yeah. That show is ridiculous. Do what now? Yeah, I love that show. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. I can't believe you brought up H, what is it? HR Puff and Stuff? Yeah, HR Puff and Stuff. I never watched it. It, if it's you go back and bizarro, watch it. It's bizarro, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I follow Sid Croft on Instagram and. He goes live all the time. I don't know if the man knows where he's at anymore, but like he, he uh, goes live and you know kind of talks about the show still. And hmm. yeah, that show is absolutely crazy. Well, it was kind of like uh, at Pee Wee's Playhouse. I was yeah. I was watching a uh, there was a documentary with the, where they were talking to the creatives behind the set. Hmm. And that set was cool. Oh, they. Yeah. did a lot of acid like that was oh, totally really? confirmed they oh. they did a lot of acid and like drew shit like they would get so messed up and they would build the set like over <laughs> <laughs> like what can we do that would be crazy yeah. like oh let's oh do God. this we need and a talking would... chair over here <laughs> right. yeah 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 let's call and it the door that zigzag on one side yeah <laughs> right. yeah yeah and the genie <laughs> Yeah. Jombie. 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 Mecca like a heart. Lawrence, Lawrence Fishburne is. Yeah. Cowboy. <laughs> cowboy Curtis. Yeah, Cowboy Curtis. Oh my yeah. gosh. <laughs> Crazy. There was a show, and I, I, I'm sure I could look it up and find it. There was a show, I think, on Nickelodeon, maybe early, with a character named Diz. Is this ringing a bell to anybody? Diz. Or did I make this up? She. <clears throat> I don't want to throw the mic off, but she would do this. Like this weird high pitch. Can you do that again? No. <laughs> just, just one more time. I, I was going to say, fl- I was going to say, Flipper the Dolphin. No, I can do that too. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Maybe I'm making this up, but I'm sure of it. There was a show. A character called Diz on Nickelodeon. Diz. Diz and Nickelodeon. Like it was it a like cartoon a, or like a? It was a live action. It was a live kind action. Of like a Beekman's World type feel. Okay. It wasn't Beekman's World though. The Tomorrow People. I don't was it a sitcom or like a sh- like a show? It show? was a show. Okay. I, I want to say there was some educational aspect to it, but I don't. Out of control. Out of control. Out of control. Did you ever Diz hear of that McNally. one? Diz, Diz McNally. Diz McNally, and she made wow. that weird screeching. Okay, so I you, didn't make it up. Yeah. That, wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know why she did it. Uh, that that show I uh, did not see. <laughs> I'm familiar with it. Is I, I do that on television. On the other oh, game? I love that one. <laughs> I think you can bring that show back at this point. I want. Like, let's get Alistair on the podcast. Um, I had a mad crush on Alistair. He was hot. <laughs> Alistair. Did you watch? You can't do that. I bet he's on cameo. <laughs> you, can't do, you can't do that on television. Mm-hmm. I didn't. That was you were like a little young man. for that one. Probably. My parents wouldn't let me watch it. It was not. 
Real it was, appropriate. Yeah. It was sketch comedy with kids for kids, but it was like about like how gross the cafeteria food mm-hmm. was. And stuff oh, like that. yeah. But it was yeah. all Canadian. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it, it had a lot of that Canadian edge to it that American stuff was like really <laughs> nice and rounded off and everything. Yeah, and yeah. like Canada had like that sort of like they had some good jokes in it, but it was the, the gag was if you said, I don't know, they dump slime. They dump slime on you. Yep. Yeah. Which water, became the water. moniker of yeah, Nickelodeon. That's like Nickelodeon oh, yeah. to this day. Yeah. 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 See, now that's a show I guarantee pull the list of actors from that show. I guarantee you could get someone. Oh. Interesting. Yeah. And I'm sure they're all up in Canada. Well, Alanis Morissette was on it. Yeah, yeah. she was. Mm-hmm. She, you could, yeah. I, yeah, yeah you could probably Coulier. get her. Yeah. yeah. Pre Dave Coulier. Actually, that might be where she met Dave Coulier. Because <laughs> he's Canadian, right? I believe so. <laughs> we have traveled very far on this podcast. <laughs> 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 All right, so who who's your next big star you're going to meet? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. I don't know who's next. I did I like I uh Rick Flair. I ran into him that at the airport. Sweet. That was fun. Who's that? <laughs> don't both of you, don't wow. put your heads down and look at me like I'm the dumbest person on the face of the planet. <laughs> I'm ravishing Rick wow. Flair. Right. I don't know who this He's a wrestler. is. Woo! Okay. Woo. I don't know wrestlers. He said, "Woo, Woo guy!" And you're yeah. making fun of me for that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> wow, he was also a pro wrestler. Okay. Yes. Same era, but he, re- yeah, he, awesome. he wrestled. Okay. Yeah, you met him in an airport. Yeah, I met him in an airport. In the golden like era, Gold, golden age. Was that the golden age of wrestling at that point? Or was I don't know. Is there a golden age of wrestling? There is. Yeah, there well, that would be the is. 80s, right? Yeah. 80s, yeah, 90s. 80s. He yeah, was de- like, he was definitely because he. The Hogan era. And well, he was he was WCW to start, right? He, right? Was. he was WCW. Woman Candy Wednesday. <laughs> nope. nope. <laughs> World Championship <laughs> Wrestling. There wasn't if any you said that to a wrestler, I could see the, the interaction. That... <laughs> Woman Candy <Yeah>. Wednesday. <laughs> you can't say that. <laughs> yeah. No. no. <laughs> but it seemed to me like wrestlers are probably very nice people. Oh, yeah. Like. Yeah. Yeah, some of the, yeah, yeah they, they're fascinating. Mean. Yeah, like yeah. they they lead very circusy type lives mm-hmm. on the road oh, all the show. time. Oh, it's a show. I mean, it stunts all the time. Like they, they don't. They say people say, "Oh, it's faking." Well, I mean, yeah, you there throw yourself some... off a thirty foot cage and say it's fake. Like I mean, yeah, true. Is it right. done for safety? Yes, oh, yeah. but you're still doing it. Yeah, so yeah, Hitting with chairs and such. Yeah. I never, <sighs> never got into it. I'm just pretty. I'm a pacifist, so. So are a lot of these wrestlers. They're just trying to stick up for what's right in the American dream. Okay. okay. She's a pacifist. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. She's, she's a pacifist. Let her listen to her murder podcast. It'll be fine. Okay. Oh yeah, that doesn't work. Does it? No. Yeah. <laughs> no. No, it's not. My child has gotten into it now too. The murder podcasts. Oh boy. They're like, can mm. you listen to a murder podcast? In Please. The car? I'm like, mm, sure. Sure. Yeah. Let's do it. Don't get any ideas. There was one that came on, and it like the first line that came up, and it was kind of when they weren't quite old enough yet. Like, oh, should we be? Then I'm like, yeah, I know what you watch and listen to, so this is fine. But the first line that they hear is like, and then she killed her mother. And my child goes, oh, this is fascinating. I'm like, don't. Oh, oh, right. Like, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm you not? Draw the yeah. line at matricide yeah. there. No. No. Matricide? Yes. Yeah, I was thinking, yeah. I was going back to the beginning with the mattress, though. Matricide. Yes. Oh, yeah, matricide. <laughs> <laughs> that man took the tag off that mattress. I said, do not remove. Why is that? Why do they have this on there? I don't know. Hmm. I don't I'm know. Not, I'm not Googling it. I've learned so <laughs> much not... about your <laughs> I've Why is the why stuff this there? Is, this, this is episode. an educational podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, we've turned a corner here. On Speak Easily, <laughs> now we're all about teaching you things. <laughs> <laughs> I you know we do learn a lot though. We do. We we, yeah, we, we, yeah. we learned a lot yeah. of things. It's been a bit of a break uh, since has. we've been doing yeah. this, and and we're sorry. It's been a bit of a break. There's been a lot of organizational stuff on the back mm-hmm. end for us, but uh, thank you we're for back. sticking with us. We're we back. are back. With uh, Ryan. Yeah, with Ryan. Is that my phone? That's that was my noise. phone. I think probably <laughs> I was pinging me. I'm sure it's really. Um, <laughs> but thank you for yes. coming on. Yeah. Awesome. Um, where you. can people cool. find you? Give us all of your oh uh, Instagram home address. And huge, huge website. official. Uh, Five hundred Main Street, 
Some of the best really swag I've ever okay. seen from sure. an artist, actually. Literally. Yeah, no do. joke. You have some of the best swag. I've oh, seen. Yeah? yeah? Did you like the condoms? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. I did have to hide them when I had the children come in. <laughs> That's so funny. It's like, ooh, we're not going to leave that out in public. I got this at a show. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> I, like, I, I love my, the bottle openers and, yes. the, and, and, and the condoms yeah. are always really Well, it's, it shows some thought behind it because you're like, what are things people are going to use and remember that they had? And, right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Rather than just like, here's a sticker. And stickers are cool and everything, but, you know. You put it on a whatever it is. Everyone has yeah. the stickers. Sure. Everyone's mm-hmm. got that stuff. But, sure. you know, hey. Yeah. Nice. Give condoms. Condom. <laughs> Give them a condom. Please, <laughs> please don't use it. But, like, <laughs> I, I, I mean, these were really cheap. Yeah. Oh. Don't recommend uh, <laughs> Don't recommend them using it. Like, <laughs> please. I mean. And it's, it's, it, it, you, these, these condoms are in the same bag as, like, my buttons. <laughs> So, uh, may not be 100% right. I mean, I can't tell you if it didn't get poked on act. I mean, <laughs> so don't use them. Please don't use, don't use the huge, huge condom. <laughs> <laughs> Please is, don't. Is it lubricated or not? There's another. Song it is not. It's the. Album. It is not. It, it would also be uncomfortable. Okay. There's another, use, another song for your next album. Please don't use the. Huge, Please don't use the huge, huge condom. <laughs> it's almost got a cadence to it. You know? Yeah, it does. You Please don't use the huge, huge condom. Yeah, mm-hmm. it could be like a country western standard. That would be hilarious. Actually, it would. That would be hilarious mm-hmm. to like have a children's chorus like sing something totally Please inappropriate. Don't for, use <laughs> oh my god, dude. Okay, like a, I'm taking I'm taking <laughs> do it uh, like a uh, we are the world type of yes. thing. Yeah, oh my god. Oh Please my. don't yes. use <laughs> yes. the huge yes. condoms. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Wow. I'm That's not going to help you cast the kids for that one. I'll totally That's shoot a video fun. with you. That, sounds that would be fun. Yeah. 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 Cool. Oh, and I know kids would be down for yeah. that. But I also, like, you can go on to Fiverr. Mm hmm. Are you familiar with Fiverr? It's basically just this this website where a bunch of like artists and they, like you can oh I need graphic design work oh, done yeah, and you yeah. can go and you look okay. through a bunch of people mm-hmm. like I want this guy to do it and it has the rates and everything, but you can find stuff like for audio like yeah. I can find I can get a gospel choir in like Gambia hmm. to sing like a minute's worth of music for a hundred dollars. Oh. In really? a prof- and they have pictures of like their studio and there's like there's a whole group of them like you can pay them like a hundred dollars wow. and they'll sing some bars for your song and I'm like oh I'm, I'm doing you should that. do that oh I'm doing that do you think they have a children's choir that would sing about comics I'm sure I'm sure I'm sure I'm sure I'd be able to find something somewhere that would give me that opportunity <laughs> it's very for Monty Python yeah, yeah that, like that that is hilarious I I have a song already that I think <laughs> that would work really really well perfect. Around. That's so funny. I'm here, to, I'm here to contribute. That's great. Yes. So anyway, derailed right. once again. How do people find you? Uh, yeah, uh, huge, huge, huge official mm-hmm. on Instagram. Uh, huge, huge official on Facebook. Call me. Call right. me, beat me, yeah. if you want to reach me. Who sang that? Kim Possible. Oh, that's right. That's another. That was I another crush. That, that was another crush. Oh, Chris Boom. Carlson Romano or oh Kim God. Possible? Both, actually. Like <laughs> even you know, like even Stevens on Broadway. Did she? Mm-hmm. Yep, she did Young Cosette. And Young Eponine and Les Mis, and then she did um, Jason Roberts, Robert Brown's Parade. Oh, on Broadway. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah, she's awesome. Oh, stop! <laughs> <laughs> Don't even. <laughs> if y'all get mad at me about not knowing the Candy Wednesday wrestlers, okay? Like, I wow. don't know. I mean, it wasn't just like wrestling. It wasn't like we just said like the Jackhammer or something. It, R- Ric Flair. I, I, You're not the, the Ted DiBiase, the Million Dollar Man. I, they're, they're two of the biggest icons. You did know Hulk Hogan, though. Rick so Fla- I can't really. Rick Flair I can't. is the Michael Crawford of wrestling. Okay. Yeah. Awful. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that analogy jump. That was like Homer Simpson going over the Springfield no! Gorge. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Anyway, <laughs> you can follow us on mostly Facebook. Uh, mostly you, Facebook. You, YouTube. Facebook is where we are for the most part. Uh, you can follow Chris on Instagram. She's all over Instagram. Where are you on Instagram? I'm all over. Um, I'm at, at Krista Stoffer. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? At. At. It's also my Venmo. <laughs> you can send me money. <laughs> <laughs> but we also are Speak Easily Columbus on Instagram. Yes. And we're going to start yep. that back up. So yep. thank you. Hey, thank you, guys. Yeah. We, so we journeyed. Yeah. Oh, we went wow. we went all over the place. Do yeah. you see why I never did this? Foxland Media.
Think big.